Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nsala and I'm excited to finally be doing my first official video. So if it's your first time here, I'd like to ask you to please subscribe down below, click on the notification bell to be notified once I've uploaded and please like this video. Um, so yeah, let's jump right into the case. So today we'll be talking about the kidnapping and murder of Masejo Homo. So Masejo was born in South Africa in Gauteng to parents Kate and Joseph Homo. At the time of her death, she was in grade 5 and had just passed and was looking forward to the next level. She was excited about doing her grade 6, but unfortunately she wouldn't get to experience it as at the age of 10 years old, she unfortunately met her demise. So, on the 31st of December 2009, Masejo asked her mom if she could go out and play with a couple of her friends down the street as this was very normal for Masejo as any other 10 year old, you know, you'd like to have fun with your friends and play around. But when it became lunchtime and Masejo didn't return, her mother became worried because this was very much unlike her. She was always a girl who respected the rules and knew not to stay too long in people, other people's houses. So she sent Masejo's brother to go looking for her, but he came back without her because he couldn't find her. So she then decided to wait and thought probably she's just having too much fun and has lost track of time. So when it became too late and lunchtime had passed, she herself, Kate, decided to go look for her daughter. And, and she was last seen in an orange vest, black leggings, some jelly tot sandals, and her hair was braided. So she decided to go look for her at a friend's house. That's when she was informed that she was sent by a man called Brian Mangwale to a talk shop to buy him some soft drink. So she started to go on to Mangwale's house to go and find out what happened to her daughter. And that's when he informed her that he had seen her, but then he had sent her to the talk shop and she never returned with the soft drinks or his money. So everybody in the neighborhood rallied together. Mangwale, his friends, the neighborhood, everybody who was so concerned and worried as to what happened to her, decided to go on a search and when they couldn't find her, that's when Mangwale accompanied Kate, Masejo's mom, to the police station where she decided to go report her daughter missing. Mangwale was so kind, he spent the whole morning with her until the police decided to send out vans to go in search of her. Masejo and they couldn't find anything. That's when eight days later, Brian Mangwale himself took the police to where Masejo's body was at the Sushongvane railway station hidden underneath a thick grey blanket. Her body was badly mutilated and decomposing at that point. So Masejo's body was then taken for an autopsy. Mangwale also revealed that Masejo had been a victim of ritual killings so that she had been used for muti, which is an African traditional medicine or magical charms. He then was taken to the police station where he was interrogated in relation to Masejo's death and he gave three different accounts as to what happened, giving him different roles in her murder. The first version which he gave the police was that he saw Masejo and sent her to buy him some soft drink and when she returned he asked her to accompany him and a group of his friends and they took her to a party. So when he left them at the party he walked away to go get some more alcohol on his return discovered that his friends had raped Masejo and at that point he feared being implicated in the whole situation he remembered that there was a Sangoma who needed a child for Muti. That's when he took Masejo to the nearby train station at the bushes there and that's when a friend of his who goes by the name Nono but is Albert Matevula strangled Masejo while he, Mangwale, cut Masejo, opened her up, removed her womb, cut off her left breast and that's when they placed all this in a plastic bag and left her there to die. In another account, he claims that Masejo was taken at midnight to the house of a Sangoma who he had worked with previously. Sangoma was named Yanchis. And when they got there, the Sangoma then dragged Masejo 
as she became very weak and was unable to fight back and utter any words. Masejo was then told to lie down on a table and she tried to fight back but that's when he gave them all a concoction which made them fuzzy and made them a bit weak and so they could be out of what was happening. He then placed her on a table and with an 18 centimeter blade cut through her removing what something that resembled a ball removing her left breast and then leaving her there to die. And his, in his last account, the third one, he claimed that the Sangoma took the crying Masejo who was weak and sprinkled her with water. That's when he took her and produced a knife and a calabash. That's when he cut a piece of her flesh, placed it in the calabash, cut off her left breast and also placed it in a calabash. So those were the three accounts that he gave. And then Mangwale also gave in a statement that this was not the first time he had worked with the Sangoma and producing children for them. He had claimed that he had worked for them previous time, even before Masejo's death, claiming different prices. In one article, they say that he had been paid 4,800 rands, which was about 650 US dollars. But in another article, they said he had been paid 3,000 um, rands, which is about 306 US dollars. So I'm not quite sure which the exact amount was. Albert Matebula who was a witness and testified against Mangwale, gave a different account to what happened that night. So on the 31st of December 2009, he said that he was out with two other friends and they were smoking marijuana when Mangwale approached them in a car with a woman dressed as a Sangoma and a man named Yan. That's when they all drove to the Sangoma's house where they met different initiates that were dressed as Sangomas and there they took the child who was basically lifeless and wasn't crying or moving and that's when Yang cut through the girl and removed her womb and cut off her left breast so that's what he said happened that night he also said that they were given concoctions which made them dizzy and were not aware of their surroundings or what happened that night so that's when after everything happened, Masejo's body was put in the back of the car and was driven to that station where her body was later on discovered. During the hearing, Mangwale said he wasn't guilty of anything and he pled not so he pled not guilty. And unfortunately for him, was found guilty of all charges, which were kidnapping and murder. Unfortunately, he couldn't be tried for rape because her private parts were also mutilated of Unfortunately, Mangwale was tried and convicted alone. He refused to give up the names of his co-conspirators and I don't understand why Matebula never gave up the names of those people he was he claimed were there like the Sangoma and Yan's full identity or at least take the police where he claimed all this happened so I don't know what happened in that regard I couldn't find any information on that but it's just so unfortunate but thank God Mangwale was convicted to six years for kidnapping and life imprisonment for the murder of Masejo Homo without the possibility of parole. But however, he tried to appeal this conviction and thank God was denied because, I mean, come on. Like, how do you take part in this type of crime, this heinous crime, and then you even refuse to bring those who participated in this crime with you to justice? So, at least the family was able to get some form of closure from all this. What they've been put through was just un unreal and just so heartbreaking. And I'm just so hopeful that the family is able to
find some type of peace and just move on with life even though she will never be forgotten so that's it that's the end of this case i'm really trying my best i was really nervous but i promised to improve and keep getting better it was really hard you know but yeah thank you so much i really enjoyed doing this and until next time bye